Hi, my name is Lola Milani and I am a portrait photographer based in New York City. Today I would love to give you five tips for photographers who are new to maternity. Tip number one is keep things simple. And by saying this, I mean keep your gear and your lenses to the minimum. You really don't need a lot for creating beautiful maternity portraits and silhouettes. I would recommend to have one medium to large softbox or octabank or an umbrella and a reflector and a deflector or just have a v-flat that is white on white side and black on another to create a fill or more shadows depending on what it is that you would like to do. I truly believe that you can capture maternity portraits with any lens of your choice. However, I recommend to stay away from really wide angle lenses because the last thing that you want to do is to uh, make your subject wider and bigger. So um, I recommend 50 millimeters or 85 or any zoom lens of your choice, except for a really wide angle ones. Tip number two, nail down your lighting. By saying this, I mean, figure out and practice two to three lighting setups that you absolutely love and you know that you can nail down when anybody shows up at your studio and you can make any uh, woman look beautiful and you would know your settings, the position of your lights. When I started photographing clients, I used to have a little cheap paper where I would put my camera settings, the name of the setup, the light that was using together with the backdrop, the power of the light so that I can always look if I will get a little confused and um, it gave me confidence and when you are confident your clients feel that and they become confident as well. Tip number three work on your skill to coach your subjects and I think it's very important especially because our clients are not professional models and for most of them, it's the first photo shoot ever. So it is important to guide them and talk to them and constantly coach them on posing. So that's exactly what I do. And uh, I talk to my clients all the time, whenever I'm doing a test photograph, changing the settings of my camera, moving the lights around, I'm constantly talking to them because I don't want them to stay there in front of me, feel vulnerable and a little weird and because they don't know how how they look and they don't know what to do. So it is important to coach your subjects. That this is something that um, definitely comes with experience and this is going to give your clients confidence. Tip number four, create an efficient workflow. When you work with pregnant women, it is important to remember that they don't last too long and they get tired very easily. So uh, you need to complete the photo shoot in an hour and a half or maximum two hours. So what I do for every client is I create a detailed shot list and I uh, write down every single setup in combination of lighting and backdrop and wardrobe. And I have this list in front of me all the time and I can always refer to it and I know that I'm not going to forget anything and it helps me to shoot faster and just keep my process very efficient and help me to get my clients out of the door sooner. Tip number five, find your own style. While it is absolutely fine to draw your inspirations from other photographers, try to stay away from copying and doing exactly what everybody else is doing in your genre. I have always tried to be different and instead of following trends, I've always went against the grain and I always try to create my own work and tell my own story through my creations. I know it can be very scary and risky to voice your own vision and work on your own inspirations. However, there is a Russian saying, um, Кто не рискует, тот не пьет шампанского, which means those who don't risk, don't drink champagne. <laughs> So 
So these are my five tips for those who are starting in maternity photography. So if you would love to add anything else, please feel free to comment. You can find me at lolamilani.com. This is my website or Lola Milani, my Instagram page. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.